In this tutorial, in Excel, we're going to learn how to plot a line graph with error bars to represent standard deviation. Here I have some example blood lactate data for 10 participants across a range of six different incremental speeds. You can see that down at the bottom, I've calculated both average and standard deviation. If you're unsure of how to do this yourself with an Excel, please see one of my other videos because I'll show you how to do that in a few simple steps. Again, for the purposes of this video, I have used blood lactate values, but this can be used with a variety of different variables. Um, on the right hand side, you can see an example of a line graph with error bars to represent standard deviation, which I've already plotted. Um, you can see that I've also put some titles on there, which I'll show you how to do, and that's including the main title and both horizontal and vertical axis titles. Uh, to show you how to create the line graph, I'm going to delete this and start from the beginning. Okay, so there will be a variety of different ways of plotting things, but this is just a way that I, I use, and so it's just a nice, simple way to show you how to do it. Um, in order to plot the values, I'm simply going to click on the first cell, drag, and release on the final cell, and that will highlight them. Next, I'll come up to the Insert tab, then over to Charts, where there's a selection of charts that you can use. Again, for today, we're going to be using a line chart in which you could choose without markers or with. I find that when you've got a small data set, it's quite handy to have markers on them. So here you can see simply we've got a line chart without the error bars, which we're going to then include now. OK, so here, if I select off here, you can see that there's no options at the side. So you need to click anywhere on the box and then you'll see that these three options occur. If you select this top one, the cross, it brings up the chart elements and it brings up these options here. We know that we want to include error bars, so I'm going to come across here. We can see as I hover over error bars that it's in fact including some, um, some default values which we're not interested in because we want our own standard deviation values there. So I'm going to come across this arrow and then it'll bring up some further options. Again, if I hover over them, you can see it does say standard deviation but it's not what we're interested in because we want our own standard deviation values to come down to more options. I'll bring these up here. Uh, at the top, you can see that there are a few different options. Um, so the direction for both minus and plus, we're going to have both minus and plus, so we're going to leave the, both, the option for both ticked. Um, the end style, I tend to use a leave a cap on it, but you can see that you can take the cap off, which will just take that line off the top and bottom. Uh, the bit of interest is down here for the error amount. Uh, you can see that there's a few different options. And as mentioned before, we're after a custom volume. So I'm going to select custom and specify volume. On this pop up here, I'm going to simply come across to this icon and then select it. I'm going to now select the standard deviation values of interest. So I'm going to click on the first one, keep holding down and then I'm going to release on the final value and you'll see that it will highlight the six values that we want to plot. I'm going to repeat and do exactly the same for the negative error values. Okay, and again I've highlighted the six values of interest. And once I select the icon, icon and press OK, you can see that it's now plotted our standard deviation on there. I'm going to close this down here, but please note that you can uh, use this to make other changes to your graph if you wish. Um, so here you can see we've got our line graph, which represents the average data, and also error bars, which represent the standard deviation. Um, next, we'll have a quick look at how to include an axis title and also um, horizontal and y, so horizontal and vertical axis titles. This is always good practice to include when presenting graphs. Um, because you need to be able to see what the data is that you're presenting. Uh, first, I'm going to start by a, a simple change that I'm going to make is at the bottom, you can see that it's just showing stages as one all the way up to six. And in fact, that we know that it speeds from nine up to 14. So a way that I'm going to do this is again by right clicking. You can do it when you're plotting the graph, but a nice simple way to do it afterwards is to right click and select data. You'll see here now it's saying horizontal category axis labels, and that's where it's saying one to six. And if I click edit, 
I can select the ones that I want to include. And as I select them, and as a moment I release them, you'll see it updates on the graph. And I'll select OK. And OK again to close this box. So that's a nice simple one. Next, I've already written out the chart title here. So I'm going to copy it. But simply, you would select the title and type in your title here. In order to put um, axis titles to present for the horizontal and the Y axis or horizontal and vertical axis, if you select the plus again for chart elements, it will bring down the drop down and then select axis titles. Um, and we know uh, from before, this is blood lactate. Don't forget your units, so that's in millimoles. And also then down the bottom, speed, which for this here is in kilometers per hour. So there we go. It's a nice, simple way to plot a line graph with standard deviation presented as error bars.